Hey yo, salute to all my subscribers and a special shout out to everybody else passing through. YouTube, what's good? So I was following a conversation earlier on uh, Facebook and um, I'm sure that at some point, if not on this platform, on one of my social media platforms or at the very least on my podcast, at some point, I'm pretty sure I covered this issue. But it comes up every once in a while and I might not have covered it from this exact perspective might have just touched on it briefly or as an overall generalization but um i definitely felt like when i you know after following this conversation you know i'm i'm, I'm trying to with this platform um as i bring different social issues different um interactions that i witness that i observe or even experience myself with you know people throughout my day that i bring to this platform you know i, I kind of want to start trying to bring issues to this platform you know from different angles because I understand that there are people who have different experiences and usually a person's perspective is based on not the overall issue but their experience as it pertains to that issue and I understand that I get that so this conversation this this woman was having with um well, not really a conversation. She posted that she was having a discussion with some people off social media. And there were some guys who were talking about how the child support system, the structure of it, is geared unfairly toward men. And her comment was, you know, that for men, fathers who feel that way, that they're stupid and that the issue is with them and all these different things, basically insinuating, like most people do, um, that if you if you feel that way, it's because you're a deadbeat and you don't want to support your children. And in the comments, a lot of the men who I saw commenting were basically like, well, that's not always the case because, you know, I'm a good father and I'm this and I'm that and I have to pay this or whatever. And it, these were the testimonials that, you know, I was coming across, you know, typically is what I see. And as I'm, you know, going back and forth and looking at the comments and, and the different things that were being said, you know, question came to my mind, how is the child support system geared fairly toward men? How is it? How is it not? How is it not unfair? Because most people have a negative connotation, you know, apply a negative connotation to child support anyway. Most people already assume that if you're a father and you're on child support, that it's because you're being forced to pay child support because you're not already paying it. Those cases, of course, are out there. There are men who don't take care of their children. And then there are also women who don't take care of their children. So, you know, the argument can go both ways. But it's not always the case that if you're a father on child support, that it's because the court's forcing you because you're not doing it on your own. Child support is not wasn't created to be a, a man thing. Child support is anytime two parents cannot reconcile the relationship, whatever that relationship is, whether it's a marriage, whether it's, you know, just a living situation or just a dating situation or what have you. Um, you know, if, if those two consenting adults who decided to come together to have a child, if they can't figure it out on their own, because the only time the court system gets involved, family court gets involved with these types of situations is when the two adults, the two parents can't figure it out together like they should, and then usually it's one person who, who gets the court involved, and then that's where the process starts from there. Um, but when those two parents can't figure it out and the court system gets involved, the way that it's assessed is that whatever parent has physical custody of the child, it's then determined from that point what the income level of the other parent is. And then there's typically a percentage of their income that goes back to the child in the way of child support. And typically the courts will, you know, issue that as a court order because, you know, just so that it's on paper, it's on record, it's, you know, it's clear what's supposed to happen, who's supposed to do what so that there's no issues. Um, the problem, though, is, and this is the, the complaints you get from a lot of men who in these situations, you know, they're put on child support for whatever the reason, however they were, however they came to be put on child support. You know, you know, they have money taken out of their check, wage, wages garnished, however it works. I'm not on child support. I will never be on child support, so I don't know what that's, you know, I don't know that part of it. 
Um, but however that part of it is set up, um, the typical complaint that you will find is that for these men who, if they lose their job or if they don't make what they feel is enough to live, you know, outside of whatever is taken out of their check or whatever the case, um, that if, if they are unable to pay their child support or fail to pay it for whatever reason, that they're then stripped of their driver's licenses, the warrants issued for their arrest, you know, they're then thrown in jail, even though it's not typically for a long period of time. But usually, in most cases, it's long enough to lose a job if you have a steady job. Um, for the... But those situations usually I see are men who are, you know, usually behind, so far behind to the point where the courts are like, okay, they're clearly not paying, so we need to do something. I do feel like to take someone's driver's license, knowing that that's what they use in order to be able to uh, commute back and forth to work, and then to put someone in jail to where now you're risking them losing their only means of income... I feel like that's counter counterproductive um, because if you put someone in jail and suspend their license and now they can't get to work, it, it kind of seems counterintuitive to then, then turn around and say, you need to pay your child support. That, that's a whole different topic, though. But <clears throat> part of the problem, though, is this. Uh, and I, and I, you know, my stance on this platform is um, that I will always stick up for men because I, I feel like, generally speaking, Men just get a, uh, just have a bad reputation, and it's not that there are the majority of men who don't do the right thing. I think that we live in a day and age where um, there are so many feminist movements, there's so many support for women from other women um, who you know are there to help keep each other strong and support each other, and rightfully so. But I just feel like men don't have that men don't have that you know men don't typically come to the aid of other men in most situations we kind of look at life as like a free-for-all and it's everyone for themselves kind of thing and that's a man thing it's ego it's pride it's a whole lot of different things but me i take the approach that you know a lot of men out here are getting a bad reputation you know a bad rap just because of the few men who are not doing the right thing and so I usually try to approach these situations from the standpoint of um, playing devil's advocate because, you know, a, a lot of these situations, first of all, my, my belief, my attitude is for two consenting adults to come together and have a child, whatever your relationship is, whether your relationship was a healthy relationship, whether that relationship was, you know, rocky or turned rocky or you know, at some point realize that that relationship with that other part, person wasn't going to work out. As two consenting adults, as two <laughs> so responsible adults, which is what we should all be as adults, then you need to figure out past the relationship, past the personal issues, how are we going to co-parent and take care of this child or these children? Because that should never be a, an issue for the courts. As far as I'm concerned, the court system should never be involved with the family unit with you know parents and how they take care of their kids and how they don't and how they support their kids and how they don't that should be the sole responsibility of those parents now granted the court is going to be a backup and say okay you know if you if you two parents cannot figure it out then we'll you know mediate or, or be there to you know kind of do what's fair and that's understandable but the first responsibility should be put on those two adults should be put on those on those two parents and then once that part is done and the court does need to get involved there should be other things put into place it shouldn't just be the only onus put on the fathers um in those cases where you know it's the father who doesn't have physical custody and so they're ordered to pay child support whatever percentage whatever is the income level however the court deems that situation um but then there's no there's no regulation or there's no monitoring of those finances because in a lot of cases you have men who take care of their children even after the relationship ends they're still doing the things that they would have ordinarily done to contribute and then you have bitter women who will volley to the courts for child support because they want an excess 
or they want for them, not just the children, or they're bitter because that man is no longer in the relationship. You see a lot of that going on out here. And any woman who wants to pretend that that's not the case, that that doesn't exist, I think is not being honest, 100%. So you have these men who complain about how they pay their child support, they do it on time, they do what they're supposed to, they even go above and beyond, and then they go to, because they're just being a parent, and then they go to, they're being dragged into court by these women who claim they're not doing this, they're not doing that, because I'll be real, you know, when you approach court, it's about what you can prove, and you know, you gotta have receipts for everything, you gotta have documentation for everything, but as a parent, as a father, if I'm going to provide for my kids, I'm just going to provide for my kids. It's because they need to be provided for. It's because they need something and it's my responsibility as their father to do it. I'm not thinking, oh, let me save this receipt or let me save that. I'm just doing for my kids as I normally would in the relationship. Just because the relationship stops, I'm not then, I shouldn't then have to think, damn, I better save every receipt now and every, but that's what it turns into because the court system will take the word of the woman and force the father to prove. And that's one of the aspects of this whole situation, this whole system that I feel like is unfair. Not only that, there are so many, there are so many things in place to make sure that the father pays their child support. You know, there's wage garnishments where that money is being taken right out of the father's paycheck. If they lose their job or change jobs or, you know, are in between jobs, then, you know, that, that father is at risk of the courts then suspending their license, issuing a warrant, arresting them, so that whatever job they did have or had lined up, they're going to lose it because they're in jail waiting for, you know, a court date to get in front of a judge to explain why they're not paying their child support or whatever the case is. Um... And that part's unfair also in, a, in certain ways. In anything that I'm talking about, too, as a, as a, um, a disclaimer, does not include those cases where men are purposely dodging their responsibilities to take care of their children. So don't get in my comments, troll me, and be like, oh, but there's men out here who aren't doing the right thing and you're making excuses for them. No, I'm not talking about the men who don't take care of their responsibilities. I'm talking about the men who do, who because of a flawed system get grouped in with the men who don't. Because as as equally as you can find men who don't take care of their responsibilities, I can equally find a number of women who are bitter because the relationship ended and or just want to make it hard for the father because they don't want them to have anything to do with the children. Because for some strange reason, too many of you women think that you created that child by yourself, that you didn't need that man to help you create that child that you're the only one who has a right to those children. That's just automatically what too many women think. And I'm not for that. I don't have any respect for women who think like that. I have only respect for women who understand the importance of the role that a father plays in their child's life, period. And that doesn't, and that, that has no bearing on the relationship, how it ended, what happened, whether the guy cheated, whether the woman cheated, whoever cheated, there's, extreme importance for any child to have both parents equally in their lives and any parent who thinks that that's not the case in my opinion gets no respect from me as a parent um but i digress so so then you have men also who feel like if i have to go through all these hoops or have you know be on paper that i'm paying child support my wages get garnished. I have to worry about, you know, even if it's through no fault of my own, if I just simply get laid off at work because of cutbacks or whatever the case, that I could potentially lose my license, have a warrant issue for my arrest, have to go to jail and all these different things. But then when the, the checks are coming in and that money is, is being taken out for child support, um, the court does nothing in the way of verifying that that mother is actually doing what she's supposed to be doing with those finances. Because let's be real, we see a lot of situations out here where th that child support money doesn't make it to the child. I mean, it's already bad enough that because of the way that child support is assessed, the amount that you have people who pay as little as, I don't know, $50 a week, and then people who are paying as many as, as much as 
tens of thousands of dollars a month for child support. You know, obviously you're celebrities and people who have a higher income or in a higher tax bracket. But it's ridiculous. A child only needs so much to live on financially. The majority of what these children need is not monetary, um, but there is financial. Uh, um, there is a financial implication when you have a child. Obviously, it's very expensive. But a lot of but the money is going into the hands of that mother, and she's not then expected when she drags that father to court. And I'm not saying that this shouldn't be the case. The father's expected to prove whatever their contributions were. If the father is saying, well, I've contributed above and beyond my child support, or, you know, money might not be taken out of my check because I changed jobs, but in the interim, this is what I contributed. You know, like I pay for my kid's school clothes or whatever the case, that father would then be expected to prove those contributions. But how come the mother is never expected to prove that in receiving those finances, that those finances actually went to that child. The court system automatically assumes that because the mom has physical custody of the child, that that money is automatically going to the child. And I can tell you 100%, that shit ain't always the case. That shit is not always the case. There's too many women out here who are dragging fathers through the mud, talking shit to their children about, about their fathers, creating that condition for them to not you know, have a good relationship with their father. And then on top of that, they're not taking care of them the way they should, but they're so quick to drag these men into court every five minutes because of this issue or that issue. It's like if you drag a, a father to court for child support, the, the what you're basically saying to the courts is, and this is aside from the father having those financial responsibilities because we're not denying that, but the first thing the court should say is, Okay, you're petitioning the court for child support. Are you saying that you are not able to support this child having them physically live with you without the financial help of the father? And if the answer is yes, the very next question from the court should be, are you willing to then let that child go and live full time with the father? Let the father have physical custody so that way we can avoid you having that extra financial burden. No, because a lot of these mothers out here want to hold their children hostage. Because if two parents together should have equal right to that child, you know, barring extenuating circumstances, if one parent or the other is not physically endangering the child or not providing, you know, an environment to live in that is safe for the child, then there's no reason why that parent should not have rights to their child, period. It just shouldn't. It just shouldn't. But it's... Usually in more cases than not assume that the kids are better off with the mom. I don't know where that shit came from. I don't know where the family court system got that shit from, but I don't agree with it. I never have. There's always a stronger parent. There's always a weaker parent. And there is no, in my opinion, reason or proven fact as to why that person should always be the mom. Period. But that's a whole another topic i'll get into that shit on another um in another video somewhere down the line but basically i agree that there there's a flawed system i do agree that there are men who aren't taking care of their responsibilities but then i also can see why so many men say you know what this shit is either way it's not geared towards being in favor of me so i'm just gonna throw my hands up of it because it's, it should never be a money thing and more often than not that's what it turns into it turns into a money thing um just be more responsible is basically the, the only way i can say like i have to, uh you know i'm a father of three i'm raising three children two of mine one a stepchild and you know i will never be on child support for my children because my first responsibility after my children is making sure that I'm in a situation where my kids never have to be subjected to being brought up in a single parent household. If, <clears throat> if for whatever reason my marriage should fail or my relationship with my children's mother should fail and we can't reconcile, um, then we just have to come together and do what we need to do in the best interest of our children. And that's just the way that it should be. And any two adults who can't figure that part out, 
then they're the ones who are doing the disservice to the child, both parties, not just one or the other. Because I refuse to believe in a majority of these situations that these men just don't want to see their children. They don't want to have anything to do with their children. There will always be some men out here who just are no good. And there will be some women out here who are no good. But the majority of the men who I see getting caught up in this endless, vicious child support system are men who put in effort to see their kids, who want to be involved, but because they want nothing to do with the mother of their children, they're dragged through the mud and dragged into court, um, and they're being painted as Debbie fathers who want nothing to do with the child. No, I don't have to have any desire to have anything to do with you doesn't mean I want nothing to do with my child. And I'm just speaking hypothetically. Um, just because a man doesn't want anything to do with the mom doesn't mean that he doesn't want anything to do with the child. But a lot of these women will hold that shit that against whatever man or father of their kids that they're dealing with. You know, if you don't want to deal with me, then you don't, you can't see your child or you can't see the kids. And then we'll go to court and say he's not seeing his kids. Women do that shit. And until the, in my opinion, until the court system stops giving a way out for these women and making it so easy for them to file these claims um, and drag these men through the mud, until the court system realizes what's really going on out here and, and really put something into place that equally benefits both parents and the children, um, we're going to keep seeing more of the same. Um, Y'all know me, man. I troll social media. I come across posts like this. I bring it to my platform for further processing. So y'all can let me know if I'm crazy or if there's something really going on here that we need to discuss. I don't pretend to know everything. I just know what I know. And I'll see y'all in the next one. Let me know what y'all think about this one. Peace and love.